Here now are some tips on the successful completion of your three tense units. First, when identifying a sentence's tense, focus on the structure of the sentence rather than its usage. The structure is what dictates the tense used. For example, if a sentence lacks the auxiliary verb to have, it cannot be a perfect tense sentence. Similarly, if a sentence lacks the present participle used as the main verb in the sentence, it cannot be a continuous tense sentence. This can also be helpful for creating sentences. Once you've created a sentence you feel is appropriate, have another look and analyse that sentence's form before looking at its usage. When asked for reasons why you've identified a specific tense, be sure to list a usage. If you're able to do this correctly, your answer will most likely be correct. When asked to explain something to a low-level student, be sure to word your answer as if you're really explaining it to the low-level student, rather than your tutor. Be sure to use basic language and be as clear as possible. Finally, when asked to give an activate stage idea, please bear in mind the aims of the activate stage. These are 1. To maximise student talk time. Be sure that your activity allows for the students to speak as much as possible. Secondly, be sure that the students are using the language freely and in an open-ended way so as to maximise or improve fluency. 3. Focus on the target language. We always want to be ensuring that our students are using the very language point that we've been explaining. Finally, keep in mind that these shouldn't be worksheet-based activities, where the worksheets are more useful for the study stage rather than the activate stage.